Okay, the ribs have been in about five and a half hours now. They're no longer naked ribs because we put barbecue sauce on the bone side. Now we're going to flip them, move them around a little bit, and put barbecue sauce on the top where the fat cap was. Okay, the temperature is right at 250 degrees, which is perfect. And let's have a look. Oh, delicious. Check this out. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, now we're going to move them around, I suppose. Put that over there for now. All right. There. Gonna go put that over here. And that over there. Alright, now we've got everything in there so that it's got some air between it so the smoke can flow. That looks good. I'm gonna move that over to there. Now, here we go. Everything's got a good space to it. And we're going to go ahead and put some sauce on. Now, like I did on the other side, applying it liberally. And as I said before, a friend of mine, Craig, gave me what this sauce started out as. And I added a whole bunch bunch of good stuff to it and that's the difference between naked ribs and barbecue ribs before these were just kind of smoked which in and of itself isn't so bad matter of fact in some places like Louisiana that's the way they prefer them they smoke them all the way till they're done and then they serve them naked like that and the patron whoever's buying them or eating them the consumer oftentimes the person who made them gets to dip the barbecue sauce gets to dip the ribs right in them and I can see how that might have some kind of appeal to it so now everything is pretty liberally coated I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing closed back up because I don't want them to cool off, but I want to make sure I got a good coat on there and all the bone tips and oh yeah, that's looking really good. All right, that's looking good. Let's get this baby closed up. Oh. Okay. Seal the top. Let's see what we got for a fire going here. All right. Well, it's looking like we could use a little bit of wood. We'll let that catch fire. Come on over here. I'm gonna get us a nice piece of seasoned, dried, and split oak heart. Put it right in the coals there. Let it get nice and warm real quick. And we're gonna let the fire catch. Now we're gonna go ahead and close up the cover.